Dr. Mr. Only who can stay as the Mrs. Pickard is best with her that goes at the time. In the end, say I'm not too sure I'm just going to make a call on the store of people that are missing the store of the store of the store. We have to thank the rest of the city to have this now. I stand here with the family and the territory and to Germany, Italy, or Russia, and the Communist of this world. All right. Oh, 
Dominus Vobiscum, Amen, Dicobobus, known in Vanitas, and Pedem in Israel. 
Nico Alton, Globus, Club Malti, Oriente, Occidente, Vania, Ericumbe, Cum Abraham, and Isaac, and Yaakov, and Reino, Taylorum, Pili Alton, Reine, Chienter, and Tenebras, Exteriores, Vivier, Plaitus, Estridor, Densino, Abdis, Dixit, Jesus, Centuriones, Vade, et Sicu Predigisti, Pia Tibi, Et Sanatus, Es Puer, in Ulahora, Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today is the uh, third Sunday after the Epiphany. The epistle for today's Mass is from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Brethren, be not wise in your own conceits, to no man rendering evil for evil, providing good things not only in the sight of God, but also in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as is in you, having peace with all men, not revenging yourselves, my dearly beloved, but give place unto wrath, for it is written, Revenge is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. But if thy enemy be hungry, give him to eat. If he thirst, give him to drink. For doing this, thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head. Be not overcome by evil, but overcome evil by good. And please stand. We're reading the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, when Jesus would come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, a leper came and adored him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus, stretching forth his hand, touched him, saying, I will be thou made clean. And forthwith his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus saith to him, See thou tell no man, but go show thyself to the priest, and offer the gift which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. And when he had entered Capharnaum, there came to him a centurion beseeching him, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, and is grievously tormented. And Jesus saith to him, I will come and heal him. And the servant making answer said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my servant shall be healed. For I also am a man subject to authority, having under me soldiers. And I say to this man, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh, and to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. And Jesus, hearing this, marveled and said to them that followed him, Amen, I say to you, I have not found so great faith in Israel. And I say to you that many shall come from the east and the west, and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into the exterior darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus said to the centurion, Go, and as thou hast believed, so be it done to thee. And the servant was healed at the same hour. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. So as our Lord came down from the mountain. He had been up on the mountain, uh, giving the Sermon of the Mount, and this leper was waiting for him. A leper could not go up to the mountain because he was a leper. He had to stay away from other people. He was ostracized. Uh, he had to stay separate. And also he was... He was not worthy to hear the sublime truths that our Lord was teaching upon the mountain. He was not yet ready uh, for such truths. Because this leprosy uh, is a disease of the body, but it represents in the scriptures uh, sin. What's, what leprosy does to the body, it makes the body rot, 
Well, that's what the sin does to the soul. Sin makes the soul rotten. It makes it ugly. It makes it detestable. It makes it horrible to see. And so nobody wants to see a soul in the state of sin. They all flee from that. The angels have to uh, look with disgust upon their ones they have to guard if they're in the state of moral sin. This is such a horrible state uh, to be in because it, it causes separation from God, separation from everything uh, uh, good. But this leper uh, has confidence in our Lord. He says, Lord, if thou wilt, if it's your will, you can make me clean. And he knows this. And he, he knows that uh, our Lord can do this. He has this confidence in him and our Lord he sees his confidence, he sees his trust, and he says, I will be thou made clean. And that's the same for us if we have to have misfortune to commit a sin. Uh, we can say to our Lord, Lord, if thou wilt, thou can make me clean. And sometimes, today, many people can't get the confession. You know, they can't get the confession, they can't, the, we're, we're very fortunate that we get to go to confession here. But in many places, people don't get a chance to go to confession. And they have to say, well, what do I do about my sins? And they have to have this confidence in our Lord and say, Lord, if thou wilt, thou can forgive my sin. And we know that this is, our, this is the will of our Lord, to forgive sins. This is why he came into the world. He came into the world because men were sinners. He came uh, to uh, take away the sin of the world. This is how St. John the Baptist introduced him to us. He said, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. And that was, that was the purpose of his coming into the world. This is why uh, the theologians and the fathers say, Happy fault. We're glad that Adam sinned. Because if Adam didn't sin, well, our Lord would not have come into the world. So even though he sinned, he offended God. We're happy about this because now we have our Lord here uh, to redeem us and to uh, bring us back to holiness and bring us back to God. And so we see our, our Lord wants us to have confidence in him. And this is the example also of the centurion. Our Lord marveled at the great confidence the centurion had in him. He said, my, my servant is sick. And he says, I'll come down and heal him. He says, don't bother coming down, Lord. You're, I'm not worthy. Lord, I am not worried that thou shalt enter into my house, but to say but the word, and my soul shall be healed. And this is what we say before communion. Three times we repeat the words of the centurion. Three times. And the first time, well, actually, we do it twice, three times. The first time the bell rings, Domi non sum dignus. The bell rings, and the bell rings, and the bell rings. And say, yes, Lord, I am not worried, but say that word. We want, to, before we go to Holy Communion, we want our Lord to forgive us of all of our venial sins, or of all of our imperfections. We say, I don't want to have all these imperfections on my soul when I go up to receive your body, blood, soul, and divinity, Lord. I want to be purified of them, and you're the only one that can do it. So we ask him, as the centurion did, say the word, and my servant will be healed. Say the word. We say, we change it. We say, say the word, and my soul will be healed. Because uh, the illness of the soul, of course, is sin. And so our soul needs to be healed from all our sins, all our imperfections. And this is uh, what we want before communion. And this is what we always want. And this is what we should say if we have the misfortune to sin and we can't go to holy people, we can't go to confession. We say, Lord, uh, say the word. And my soul will be healed. And our souls will be healed. We will, if he says, if our Lord says that word, I will. And we know he will say that word if we have a, a, a humble and contrite heart. If we have a humble and contrite heart, he will say the word, he will forgive our sins. So if we do uh, have the misfortune to fall into sin, we want to try to have contrition, humble ourselves and say, Lord, uh, I'm sorry, uh, please say that word and forgive my sins. So all those who can't get to communion or confession today, they should think, well, uh, I can have our, my sins forgiven by our Lord. This is what we call an act of perfect contrition. So we saw in catechism the other day about contrition. And uh, uh, contrition is either perfect or imperfect. If you commit a sin and uh, you read about all the souls falling into hell like snowflakes in a snowstorm and all these souls uh, diving into hell, and you say, I don't want to dive into hell. I'm sorry for my sin because this sin is going to take me into hell. Well, that's imperfect contrition. 
contrition from a supernatural motive. I'm sorry from a motive of I have faith, I believe, and I'm sorry, but uh, it's imperfect because I'm worried about my own uh, punishment, my own uh, misfortune that for eternity this sin is going to cast me into hell and I'll be suffering uh, for eternity. So I'm sorry. That's imperfect contrition. With imperfect contrition, we need then to receive this absolution of the priest in confession to have our sin taken away. The perfect contrition is, I'm sorry I sinned because I offended God. I don't want to offend God. I love God. I'm sorry I sinned because I offended God whom I love. And uh, that, that's my motive for my sorrow. I'm not that I'm thinking about myself, but that I'm thinking of the injury and the offense I committed against God. And I say, I'm sorry for that. I do love you, Lord. And uh, please uh, forgive me. Well, that's the perfect contrition. And that's the contrition we have to strive for. And that's the contrition this leper had. And he said, that, Lord, if thou will. We have great contrition and great confidence in our Lord. And this is what we want. If we don't have this great contrition, we want to ask, have confidence that our Lord will give it to us if we ask him for it. We want to say, Lord, make me sorry for my sins. I'm sorry. Uh, perfect my sorrow. Give me the sorrow and give me the resolution to turn away from those sins. That I will not go back to them and that I, I will say, no, I'm not going to sin no more. And be confident that with the grace of God, I, I don't need to go back to my sins. God will always give me the grace to avoid those sins if I ask Him for it. Or if I even ask our lady for it, she'll get it for us. If we ask Our Lady for sure, she'll get that grace. And likewise, if we don't have perfect contrition, we should go to Our Lady, the refuge of sinners, and say, Mother Mary, I don't have perfect contrition. Please give me that perfect contrition. Obtain that for me. that will take away my sins. And I can say to the Lord, speak that word, Lord, and my soul will be healed. And our Lord will then forgive us our sins. So our Lord did give us the sacraments. But he does give grace outside the sacraments. He gives grace without the sacraments as well. And so we want to always ask him for that grace. We want to overcome our sins with the grace of God and the help of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So we know we can do this uh, because this is uh, God has promised uh, that if we are faithful, he will help us to conquer ourselves and conquer our sins. So let's ask Our Lady that we might sin no more, and we might turn away from our sins, and that we might uh, have that true and perfect contrition for them, and say, yes, I want to be a true soldier of Christ, uh, one that does not uh, take up uh, the, uh, the uh, snares, the pomps, the works of the enemy, but rather always uh, sticks and is loyal to our Lord and loyal to the good things that he does give us. So let's ask Our Lady for this grace, and ask her also that we might, uh, if we fall into sin, get the opportunity to go to confession, that we might always have the opportunity to go to confession, and that we might uh, make use often of this sacrament.
per omnia secula seculorum.
Omnia Secula Seculorum. Amen. Oremus, Precepti Salutaribus Moniti, et Ibi Institutione, Formatio Deus Ticerum. Pater Nostra, Quius in Cere, Sancti Vicetur Nomen Tuum. Ad Venia Regnum Tuum, Pia Comuntas Tua, Sicuri Cero, Ad Vincaro. Para nos un cotidiano da nobis obia, et dimiti nobis debita nostra, sicura nos dimiti nos debitoribus nostri, et ne nos inducas in tentacion. Et libera nos
Oh, we